there's not many rappers in the, in the alumni, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm changing that for a lot of my schools. Check one, two, go. Yeah, we're cool. My name is Skizzy Mars. Uh, we're here at the House of Blues in Los Angeles, man, for a sold out show. I'm playing in a couple hours. Kids are lined up right now. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Who's this pretty blind chick taking bomb rips? Park Gav catching the cab the next morning. Grew up in New York City. Around my senior year of high school, I started like writing raps and sending uh, some songs to some blogs. They started posting them. I went to college for like 10 weeks upstate New York and then I dropped out and I've just been doing this full time. The whole tour thing, I've just kind of been thrown into that world. My first tour started in January. Uh, it was from January to, to March with my friend g -Eazy. I got to open for him. We did like 32 dates around the country and then I was right back on the road with Logic. She said to me, she said to me, it's definitely difficult to kind of balance recording and touring, you know, until the point where you can have like a, a you know, a booth in your tour bus, you know, where you're like Wayne or Drake or something like that. It's tough. So it's kind of important in those breaks between the tours to uh, kind of record as much material as possible. I do a lot of writing on the road. Um, most of the recording at home, I like to kind of be in like the studio. So. I remember just like sneaking into clubs with the fake IDs, bumping Calvin Harris and Data Life. To see that now being accepted and on the radio, it's dope. A lot of them are amazing producers, amazing engineers. The way they get their shit sounding so huge and, and loud. I'm definitely trying to make records like with dudes like that that are just like really tasteful and original and like kind of combine both of our skills because I, I think some of those guys are, are really talented. You know, I grew up with, with the homie Pharaoh, who's, a, who's kind of like an emerging house DJ now. And we did a track together on, on Phase, it's called 15. You know, it's interesting like how those worlds are clashing. You know? You know, when I was in high school, I was writing rhymes, but nothing I ever thought was going to be serious. And, and um, up until the senior year of my high school, I didn't know I was going to do this. Like, you know, it was like I got into college early decision. I was going to go to school for four years. I was going to try to be a sports journalist. My parents just like, you know, had this conversation and, then, and I was just like, yo, I want to be a rapper. Obviously, that, that took them back a little bit, but um, they've been just really supportive. And once they saw that music was something I was passionate about and I could make money doing and, and um, you know, just be like a productive part of society, they've just been super supportive since then. So. We just dropped the video for Pay For You, which was produced by Jeezy. And that song was just like kind of a fun record. I mean, obviously, I just got off tour with Jeezy, so the the video, we kind of wanted to just show what the tour was like, the Must Be Nice tour, and that was actually footage of uh, the show from the El Rey Theater we did in LA. And the song was just a cool song, it's kind of like a flip on the typical like rapper talking to a girl like, yo, you know, come with me, I'll pay for everything, you know, it's kind of a flip on that, and just like a fun way of like approaching that type of song, you know, it's just like, we've, we've dated rich girls before, so we kind of wanted to take that like, that perspective of it. Kill your migraine, it's Monday morning, but we treat it like a Friday. Nobody can I've been really lucky to be this young and be, be able to get the opportunities I've gotten. It's interesting just being like 19 because it's like, you know, there's this new generation of guys um, that are around my age that we didn't grow up on like the Tupac's and Biggie's necessarily. We grew up on like Cuddy and, and, and you know, Kanye. It's just, it's kind of cool to be able to be that, that like next generation. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a trip in like being, being young, but like a lot of dudes are young now, I guess. You know? As if to say, come on, come on, I bet you they don't really know me. I'm looking forward to just this next project I drop. It's just something I'm working on now, the follow-up to phases and like, um, I just love putting out projects. Like that's my thing, like just putting out a body of work, telling a story, even having that pressure of having to deliver and then delivering. So that's really what I'm stoked for. Just more music, more, more touring, um, more traveling the country, and just spreading the fan base. It's dope. These Celine girls, I like to put the T on. I'm a on, but if they not, this is Skizzy Mars, man. Havoc TV, man. We're out here in LA. Um, on the Welcome to Forever tour, man. You can check me out. Take it to fucking BMGTour.com. Just check me out. Go get that phases, skizzymarts.com, by the way. Yeah. I bet you they don't really know me at all. They say that nice guy's finished last. Well, thank God I'm a douchebag.